Hey what's up guys, it's Neriku here, back at it again for somewhat of a weird video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Audacity. Now this is a basic tutorial for how to get nice clean commentary in my videos and I hope it's very helpful to you guys out there as well. So audio in a video is very important and it could be the difference between an immersive experience or a terrible one. That's why I'm here today to help you guys all out and if you're interested in learning about recording or commentary of vocals, this is going to be the place to find it. So for reference, I am using a Florian BM800. It's a basic budget microphone that I found on Amazon. It's a condenser microphone and it just ends up working great. It's the one I use in all my streams, all my videos, and I've even done some vocals um, in like my commentary diss track and it's been working pretty great. Other YouTubers may be using uh, like a blue snowball or blue yeti microphone and those are decent microphones for the price but keep in mind that i bought my mic for about 25 dollars brand new so i think that that was an incredible deal so that's why i went ahead and took the plunge and bought this microphone if i had to compare it to other youtubers microphones such as the blue snowflake i'd say it's much better than that microphone that's a usb based microphone that's supposed to be portable um if i had to compare it to the blue snowball which is slightly larger i'd say it's marginally better than that microphone it has a better dynamic range and it also has a little bit more clarity and then lastly comparing it to the blue yeti microphone i'd say it's just a little bit not as good um if that makes sense to you guys it's not as good as that microphone because that microphone has a better dynamic range it's also more portable it's also usb microphone so i find that that microphone is a little bit more convenient you also can turn up the gain on the fly in that microphone so that microphone is pretty decent so if you guys had to pick a microphone to use um use what you have first off i don't I, if, if there's something i need to drive into you guys mind today is do not go out and buy something if you already have something so if you already have a gaming headset or you already have an internal microphone on your laptop use that first and see if it can work its magic um, that's why I'm gonna show you guys today in this audacity tutorial to show you how you can kind of magically make those microphones better but if it's not getting the job done and you need something a little bit better I would maybe suggest going and getting something like this because it, the entire setup was less than like 50 bucks I, I think that's including the microphone the pop filter the phantom power and the microphone stand that I'm using it's way less than like 50 bucks the blue yeti microphone goes for around 90 bucks so yeah um but let's go ahead and take a look at audacity so the first thing you want to do is to obviously go ahead and download audacity it's a tool used for audio processing and should be sufficient enough to record all your commentaries podcasts whatever it's not over the top and super difficult to use it's easy enough to use and has the functionality to scale so if you want to have more complex features it does have that it's not going to be super professional so it's not if you guys are out there and you guys are looking for something that's going to be over the top amazing audacity probably won't work for you but it's free so i like free things if you guys like free things go ahead and check out audacity it's super awesome download it first so um, download Audacity from um, this link here, audacityteam.org. It's available on Mac, Windows, and Linux. And for today's tutorial, we're gonna be obviously running it on Windows. Yeah, so um, I'm not gonna go ahead and show you guys how to download that. If you need help with that, then maybe the internet just isn't for you. Um, maybe you don't even need this tutorial in the first place. So yeah, once you go ahead and get Audacity, go ahead and install it and fire it up. And it should look like this. The first thing you want to do is to ensure that your microphone is properly set up. So um, you can go ahead and do that by making sure that you select your default devices here and going in there and selecting the microphones you're using. This is my microphone here and check your level settings. So what I do in Audacity is I make sure that my level settings are about 95% or so. Sometimes it needs to be turned up. Sometimes it needs to be turned down depending on what's going on in the background. Um, however, you don't want to turn it up too much or also makes your microphone too sensitive. So yeah, um, I'll set it right about here. And then once you're done with all of those things, you're ready to record. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you guys a raw file of my recording and then play it back to you guys so you guys can hear it in its raw state unaltered un nothing's done to it so you guys can hear it and then um what i'm gonna do is then i'm gonna crank it up and go through my process to give you guys the absolute best settings for my beautiful and sexy voice so a few tips um you guys want to go ahead and make sure you speak in a loud clear and concise voice um you don't want to be too quiet um otherwise your microphone's not going to give you the best output obviously mess up as much as you want because you can always go back in there cut it out the parts you messed up cut out the parts that you don't want keep that in mind breathe um there's a lot of people who when they're recording for the first time i know i did this when I'm recording for the first time i feel like i would have to get through my entire spiel before i breathe and um that really messed up the the cycle or the sound um the sound quality so make sure you breathe 
and then um, stop recording if you guys need to at any point in time and I'll show you guys exactly how to continue that recording on the same track or continue recording from where you left off so in order to do that how to continue recording from where you left off is pretty simple after you press the stop button you want to go ahead and into your recording a little bit click where you want to start recording and then wait five seconds after you click record and then begin speaking again so you just want to go back just far enough and then record again um so yes stop recording if you need to and make sure that your sound levels are proper before you guys go ahead and get the recording completely done i cannot tell you guys how many times i've messed that up and i've completely ruined the recording because my levels weren't quite right so now that i have them set here they are saved permanently and everything sounds delicious if you guys can see also when i speak there's gonna be a, a meter that says exactly how loud it is and it's okay if it clips a little bit because I'll show you guys how to fix that as well so let's go ahead and get a recording so yeah so I would wait five seconds before I record anything ever and that is to give me a break where there's absolutely no sound in the background so I know exactly what to adjust for so let's go ahead and get this recording done right now hey what's up guys it's Neriku here back at it again for a brand new video all right, so now the recording's done. We're gonna go ahead and play it back for you guys. Right here, let's go ahead and play it back. Hey, what's up guys, it's Neriku here, back at it again for a brand new video. So yeah, I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. There's a little bit of uh, S sound in the background. There's like a lot of static sound in the background. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to get rid of that. I'm gonna show you guys how to go in there and edit everything down so it sounds as beautiful as possible. There's a little bit of clips. It's, the audio is a little loud too, so um, we'll go ahead and we'll adjust for that as well. So what I do first off, when I whenever I'm beginning anything, um, my recording here is that this length here that you guys can see at the beginning is about five or six seconds of audio before I say anything. I go ahead and I highlight that. So you guys want to go in there and highlight it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do what is known as a noise reduction. So we're going to add the noise re reduction this way. So highlight the area, go in effect, click noise reduction, get noise profile. And so what that's going to do is it's going to grab the noise profile to determine how much background noise there is in the background. Obviously, you want to, you know, turn off any fans or anything like that. Turn off any heaters if you guys can um, before you record anything. But however, I cannot turn off my furnace and that like that's like right next door to me. So it makes some t some noise from time to time. Also, my PC is pretty loud because it's old. So that noise is what you guys are hearing in the background. So I highlight it, click get noise profile. Now what you want to do is you want to double click so it highlights the entire line. You guys can see that there and hi it highlights the entire recording. And you want to go in there and press effect noise reduction again and then if you guys want to go ahead and pause and take a look at what my settings are obviously we're gonna to have to adjust for your background you're gonna to have to adjust for you but my noise reduction um, is about 19 decibels the sensitivity is about 3.5 and the frequency smoothing is two and you want to make sure that it says reduce and don't click residue you want to click reduce so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK now, the, immediately what you guys are going to notice is that those wave effects that you guys had at the beginning here, those are now gone. It's going to be one flat, smooth line. That makes sure that everything is nice and clean. Um, obviously, I've adjusted for my settings for this room. You guys need to make sure that you adjust for settings for your room. So go ahead and make sure you do it a few, few times. Um, if you guys need to erase that, you guys can always click edit, undo noise reduction, and then go ahead and change your settings and do it again. So pause this. Go back in there, do what you need to do, and then once you guys have a nice clear sound here, I'll go ahead and let you guys hear how it sounds now without the background noise. Let's go ahead and go in there and show that sound now. Hey, what's up guys? It's Neriku here, back at it again for a brand new video. So now you guys can hear it. There's no, um, there's no static sound in the background. Everything sounds clear. So now we're going to go in there and we're going to make sure that everything is adjusted for level. So we've already done noise reduction. Now we're going to do this next step, which I like, to, which I do next. And um, I think it's very important here is normalize. Normalize, it kind of balances the left and right channels from your voice. Sometimes your voice is not going to be perfect. It balances the left and right channels for your voice. And it also um, sets the track high to make everything appear more even. So I'll go ahead and I'd like to double click. I like to do the entire thing. I like to normalize the entire track effect normalize and you guys go ahead and pause and look at my settings here remove dc offset check that box check the box that says normalize maximum um, amplitude to negative one decibels and then the last box make sure that that is unchecked and then press ok and as you guys can see it lowered the levels all the way around that kind of helps prevent some clipping there and then when you hear it it's going to sound like this hey what's up guys it's neriku here back at it again for a brand new video so I'm not really sure if you guys can hear that. That was a slight um, difference in the clip level. And now we're going to go ahead and do the next step. 
which is equalization. So when I go into equalization, what I'm trying to do here is there's two things that you guys can do. Um, they're both optional. You don't have to do this if you guys are happy with the way your voice sounds naturally. However, I do like for my voice to have a little bit more uh, tonal range, if that makes sense. I want it to sound um, a little bit more full. So what I do is I go in, I hit the bass boost button. You guys can adjust these levels here. Everything up to 1000 uh, hertz here is going to be your bass level and back. So everything to the left of 1000 hertz is bass. Everything to the right is going to be treble. We're going to adjust the bass. I like how it does default, so that's fine. You guys can go ahead and pause it and look at my settings here if you guys like. And I press OK. So I make sure that you have it highlighted by double clicking and then go through that process. Now it did kind of expand everything to make everything up here larger. And that is only for the effect of making your uh, tonal range greater and it gives you your voice a little bit more present. So we're going to go ahead and play it and see how it sounds now. Hey, what's up guys? It's Neriku here back at it again for a brand new video. So see, there wasn't a huge difference in the way that it sounded and that's fine. You guys are going to definitely hear the magic. If you guys definitely go back and see where it was to what it is now, it's a huge difference. Let's go ahead and add in the last effect. Now, um, go back to equalization. You can go and you can add in treble, treble boost. I don't, I typically don't do this for my voice simply because I don't need any more high end to my voice. Um, that's set like this. You guys can add that if you want to. I would suggest if you're a lady, maybe you don't want to add in the bass boost. Maybe you want a little bit of treble boost to give your voice a little bit more presence. Go ahead and do that. However, I don't do this. And if I were to do it, I would lower it just a little bit, but I'm not going to do that. Let's go ahead and move on to the last step. If you guys, though, the last two steps were optional. So here is definitely one last, one last step that is very important. And that's going to be the compressor. Make sure everything is highlight normal. So you want to double click, highlight everything. Then you want to go into the compressor and then what I have it set to here is threshold to seven, uh, negative 17 decibels, noise floor to negative 35 decibels, ratio to two to one, attack time to 0 0.53 seconds and release time one second. And then you're going to get this nice little curve here and you want to go ahead and compress. And that takes everything and shrinks it down to a more manageable level. That's going to stop your voice from um, peaking at any points or clipping at any other point there. It's very important. It reduces the overall dynamic range and prevents clipping. That's what the compressor does. And it's going to give you a definite better sound. So let's go ahead and take a listen as to what this sounds like now. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Neriku here back at it again for a brand new video. So that that's what it sounds like now. As you can see, it sounds a lot clearer, a lot more concise. Everything sounds really nice and clear. If you guys compare my voice to how it sounded with any edits without any effects added to it compared to what it is now, it's going to sound a lot like what you guys normally hear on my channel. So um, those are the steps I do. If you guys want to quickly, quickly, if you guys want to go ahead and quickly review those steps, it's two noise reductions. The first one to get noise profile. Second one is noise noise reduction on the entire channel. This, the next one is to normalize on the entire channel. Equalization, either bass boost or treble boost or both. It's optional. It's up to you. I do bass boost. And then lastly, we compress it all down and make everything sound nice, clean, and crisp. Okay? So yeah, that's basically it. What I didn't do next is I go in and I export the clip. You guys can um, export as either MP3, um, WAV file, or a uh, FLAC file. Um, what I do is I typically um, I typically export as WAV file simply because it's going to give me the most quality. Um, otherwise, I can re record. I mean, export as FLAC, which is going to give me unaltered quality. I don't necessarily need to be that high because YouTube's compression is going to compress my voice anyway. So I just go ahead and compress as WAV. So that's done. And uh, yeah, um, after that's done, I go ahead and throw this in my video like normal and we're all set and we're good to go. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys found this tutorial useful. Go ahead and give me a quick thumbs up if you guys found it useful, if you liked the video. If you didn't like the video, well then I don't know what to tell you. Maybe hit the thumbs down button. Yeah, subscribe if you're new um, and browse my channel for more cancerous content because I think a quick trigger warning or two is needed here before you guys go check that out. Like always, my name is Neriku and I will catch every single one of you weird AF mofos in the next video. Peace.